Surgical for innervational management of glaucoma, we have several options that are available. The old option called filtration surgery has been out for well over 100 years, uh, and it has its own complications. But there are some new advances that are out that are very exciting. One an example is canaloplasty, which is more a non-invasive type of procedure that's very effective in lowering eye pressure. And this is something that we have very good three-year data on right now. Another one that's just being uh, in process and I think just approved by the FDA is called the eye stent, which is a very small internal shunt that can be placed in the eye to lower pressure. And hopefully in the future we'll continue to have smaller and uh, safer devices that we can continue to use to manage uh, people who do have glaucoma. For medical treatment of glaucoma, we typically use uh, eye drops. Uh, there are tablets available, uh, which we sometimes use, but they have a little higher rate of side effects. So ocular medications in general have been around for many years. We have a good variety of them, and they each work in their own place to lower eye pressure. Some reduce pressure by reducing the amount of fluid the eye makes, and some reduce pressure by helping the fluid exit the eye a little bit faster. And sometimes they need to be used in combination, but more often than not, uh, eye medications can be very effective in controlling eye pressure. It is important, like any chronic medication, to continue to use them on a regular basis. And so that's something I feel is important to uh, let the physician know if a patient's having difficulty with cost, managing the drops or getting them in or they're having side effects, we do need to know that.